Hello, um, just gonna go over today uh, watching YouTube videos if you're having issues with Flash uh, or if you want to download them with your browser. Now I've done lots of tutorials in the past on using a program called YouTube DL which is a great program and I recommend that for downloading and or streaming videos uh, from YouTube. Uh, it has lots of options. Lots of times when I've done videos on that people will post, oh Firefox has a plugin for doing that and really two completely separate things. I mean, yeah, they both, if you're just doing the basic download, both work, but in reality, uh, YouTube DL has a lot more options, lots more features. It also can put it into a script to automate a lot of stuff, and you can use it for grabbing cookies so you can stream videos directly to a player like mPlayer. Um, and when it comes to videos, any type of media, music or videos uh, on websites where they have a Flash player, those videos are just regular videos in most cases, unless it's something like Hulu, which are still regular videos, but they're encrypted. If it's not encrypted, it's just a regular video. And in most cases, if you can get a link to the video, you can just play it in any good, any decent media player. Well, Fire, or Firefox, um, YouTube uh, is the same way. The videos are just videos. Uh, YouTube saves them on the site. Once you upload it, it converts it to um, MP4, uh, WebM. Uh, FLV and I think it's G3P or GP3 whatever for cell phones is very low quality there um, and in multiple different resolutions uh, with YouTube DL and some of those Firefox plugins you have options to choose what quality you want to download and what version you want to download um, but my my point in today's tutorial is to show you that, um, yeah, I mean, you can get a plugin for Firefox. I used to use one years ago before I knew about YouTube DL. But in reality, you don't even need one. Because once you get the cookie, once you've loaded the page, that browser now is, has the capability of, um, one, playing the video uh, right in the browser using whatever media player your browser uses, um, or downloading the video. Uh, without any special plugins. So I'm going to use an example here. I'm going to go to this Freddy W video here. And there's going to be an advertisement here. I apologize. If you think any I mute this. There we go. Okay. Once the video is done downloading, in fact, right now, I'm going to hit Control Shift K. That opens up the Firefox console. There's something similar to this in Chrome. Um, and it's built into every version of Firefox, not every version, but all the current versions, most recent versions. What I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to pause the video and go back to the beginning of the video here. And I'm going to clear this list so it's completely clear. And then click here and say quality change. I'm going to pick the quality one. I'm going to say 1080. And there we go. We got this link right here. Uh, o -o preferred.comcast for me. I'm thinking this is a proxy since Comcast is my ISP, but you should be able to find it. You can do a, use a filter. Well, really, once we cleared it out, it should be, you, you might have one or two options here, and you should be able to figure out which one it is uh, by what they say, because they should say video playback here. So if you type in video, it narrows down the list. So what we can do now is this browser has the cookie saved. I can double click this and double click this URL request open a new tab and paste it in there and hit enter and the video starts playing and you're not using flash so if you're one of those people who are having issues with the most current version of flash and nvidia drivers let me pause this um, where your video is either playing jerky because you had to turn off hardware acceleration or the videos are funny colored this should fix that without having to install any special plugins you can still use the plugins if you want i'm just showing you that you don't need to and now that you're streaming this using whatever media player you have you're using uh built into your web browser you can also save this if i go up to file and i can say save page as you can see it wants to save it as an mp4 I already have one saved from an earlier test. Video playback 2, I'll call it, or whatever you want to call it. I'll click save. There it is. It was 37 megabytes. It's downloaded to the folder I put it in. And I can actually, well, let's, let's go there. Let's go there. We'll go to my temp folder, and we will double click that video. And there it is. It's playing. It's a minute and 32 seconds long. So just wanted to give you that little update. Feel free to use the plugins if that's what you prefer. I prefer YouTube DL. It has a lot more options and features and can be thrown into scripts. Um, but 
if you don't like, I, I try to limit the number of plugins I install. Um, I also, uh, you know, you may be at a computer, someone else's computer that has Firefox or Chrome. You can open up the console on, uh, like I said, it's control shift K to open it up in Firefox, also to close it. Um, and in Chrome, I think it's F12. You can also do the same thing if you have the plugin Firebug, uh, which I do, which is one of the few, I think it's like one of the two or three plugins I have for Firefox installed. Uh, you can do basically the same thing with that. But I wanted to show you that. Uh, we can quickly do it with another video if you'd like. Let's go to this, uh, uh, another Freddy W video. I like his videos. So once again, what we'll do is we'll control shift K, pause the video, go back to the beginning. If you change the quality while you're into the video, like you start halfway, the link it gives you, I believe, um, will actually start the video at that point. So you want the whole video and probably an option within the URL there. But now that we've got that, we click clear the list, change quality. I'm gonna go up to 1080p again, why not? I get two options here, three options here, just different things loading. I'm just going to type video, narrows down the list, um, double click this, highlight all that, new tab, paste it in there and hit enter. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, you can see it buffering here, give it a moment to buffer, and it starts playing. Sometimes the first few seconds is a little jerky, but then it starts playing fine, uh, and you can even play this full phone. screen. So if you're having problems playing videos full screen with Flash, this will solve your problem. Whoops. No. Your wallet, there we your go. phone. So, and once again, you can save that. So, just a little tidbit of knowledge there. I thought that might help some people out. Once again, I recommend YouTube DL. It's a very basic Python script. It is uh, uses basic Python modules. So, any basic install of Python um, should work. So, if you're running pretty much any operating system, Linux, Mac, BSD should be good to go unless you're running Windows, in which case you need to install Python, which you probably should do anyway because Python is very useful. And um, then you can use YouTube DL. Well, you have to download YouTube DL, but it will work with the basic install of Python. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it interesting at least. And I hope that you have a great day. Oh, also remember if you have any questions, um, don't put them in the comments. Visit filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. That's Chris with a K. Hopefully I'll remember to put a link in the description of this video. Feel free to comment. I'm just not answering questions in the comments on YouTube anymore. I'm answering them in the IRC channel. So thanks for watching and have a great day.